I noticed you have on a Hurley shirt today. Naya used to give you grief about those Hurley shirts, didn't she? Yeah, it, they're actually the Hurley t-shirts. I've got an assortment of them. She said, you know, if you're coming to a wedding reception or if you're coming to something <laughs> else, please don't wear that Hurley. It was kind of that back and forth where, yes, you have a daughter and you're the parent, but she was also had grown into your friend. Yeah, we had a really good relationship. Um, you know, uh, father-daughter's relationships always go sideways. <laughs> Maybe it's from the advice you give them, but you know, as they're growing up, they're listening to you and listening to you. And at some point it's like, really, what do you know? Uh, and those are the dynamics that we had to overcome. And I think we overcame that really well into a respectful friendship partnership. She always came back to me about mm -hmm. Uh, maturity things that she needed to to learn about when she started having a child that was a big moment what did Josie mean to her he he really became everything for her right yeah. her focus her focus was really on on him and um, as he was growing up as she was becoming a mother she uh, she really leaned into that the word I want to use is maturity. Became very mature as a person and, and really receptive to other people's feelings. How do you talk to him about his mama? And uh, I see that he asks about his mama all the time. He does. I'll tell you, um, Nikayla and Ryan are doing a really great job, right? Mm -hmm. Tough situation, um, especially because he was there. It's not like you're talking about a ghost that's floating around, right? He's got memories as well, but boy, is he, uh, is he coming around, right? Really strong kid. Um, we, we handle him and we talk to him just like he's a five-year-old going on six. It's no different, but when he wants to talk about his mother, we talk about his mother mm. in conversation. He's growing up and handling it really well. The way Nikhil has stepped in, and helped take care of Josie in such an amazing way. What does that mean to you? Nikayla is an amazing individual, right? She's got a lot of love for her sister, very close. There were media outlets that said, oh, eyebrows are raised when she moved in with Ryan, and really she was just doing the best thing for Josie, though. Yeah, that's right. Th that had to irritate you a little bit. Not at all. No. Not at all. Oh, Remember, I'm used to paparazzi. Not me, myself, but I'm used to hearing about the paparazzi. I'm used to hearing about people's opinions. That didn't bother me at all because we knew we were doing the right thing. And um, that's what we did. How's Ryan doing? Ryan's good. He's working. He's a great father. Mm. Just a really great father. You learn a lot about people and you learn a lot about relationships when you go through something like this. I couldn't thank Ryan enough for the father that he's become. Hmm. You think about mothers will do anything for their child and she used her last breath to make sure that he was okay. What does that say to you? Sort of the same mantra she used for life, you know, preservation, keep going. When things are hard, you keep pushing, right? It just shows you the strength of the person. You talked about FaceTiming with her that day. Yeah, that's, that's, that, was, that was a hard day. That was a hard day. She called me up when she was on the boat and she mm. was looking for a place to dock. Mm. And I'm an avid boater. Kids have always been in the water. You know, I haven't told the story a lot, but I got a real sinking feeling because I'm in Tennessee FaceTiming with her at Lake oh, Piru. Yeah. And I was just trying to advise her, hey, you know, you, you got to know how the boat drifts. You got to know the lake. You have to understand, you know, that you're with Josie and you guys just got to be in a safe place. And if it doesn't have an anchor, you don't want the boat to drift away from you. Mm. And then the phone cut off. And I don't know why we even got reception, because when I went to Lake Pyru, zero reception on the phone. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if it was divine intervention or what it was, but uh, I could see how, you know, the swells on, on, the, on the lake and how difficult it was. You took a picture that day of the FaceTime, didn't you? I did. Do you look at it often, and what do you think about when you look at it? I, I couldn't look at it for nine months, right? 
And in fact, I couldn't look at any pictures for Naya for nine months. I just recently going through this process we're going through now, talking about her a little bit, mm -hmm. is the only time that I've been able to uh, look at some pictures. And the only reason I can look at pictures is I can look at the celebrity pictures because that doesn't identify, you know, my daughter. Mm. But trying to look at intimate pictures is really d difficult. Was it normal for Nia to go out on a boat by herself with just her son, her, her young son? It, that wasn't normal because she, she didn't own a boat, so she wouldn't have done that on a normal period. But if going out on outings, things like that, absolutely. She had, she had a lot of moments where she, she would just sporadically go somewhere with Josie and do something. So she was familiar and comfortable with the water? Yes, we were you, boating family. And how does an accident like this happen when you're so used to the water? You know, I, I, I have the same questions. We're always jumping off the boat, swimming, avid swimmers. It is, it's a question. On that final mm -hmm. phase time, do you remember anything specific that you said? You know, I really don't. You know, uh, it's such a blur. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it's PTSD. I don't know what it is, right? Not that I choose to remember it because there was something important said. The, 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 what I do remember is we were laughing and having a great time. That's how we conducted our life, to be as happy as possible. We were at the lake. There are certain moments I remember that tug on your heart, and there is a picture of your wife with her arms stretched out and looking out at the lake. What, was, what were you saying at that moment? You didn't get the picture of me jogging down, the paparazzi picture of me running down no, and I diving know. into the no, lake? No, no, I was gonna ask you about that too. That moment, I needed to reconnect with the water. I need, needed to reconnect to where she was, and my number one goal was finding her. And I didn't know how to do it except for getting in the water and having a moment. Because mm -hmm. at that moment, we had, you know, very, very little hope on what had happened, how it happened, and if we were gonna find her. You've been very active on Twitter. You've also been writing poetry and other things, and you wrote a letter to Naya. How, how is that helping you? Is it like a therapy? Well, it's interesting. I didn't think that I could do it. And I went to a spot that I used to take her to once in a while when she was down here. And I just said, oh, okay. Mm. So I started writing it and, you know, through the tears and through the shaking, um, I, I was able to, I think, express the emotions that I had for her. And then in closure in the letter, I also came to terms with, you won't be back here. Mm. I know I won't see you again, mm. but me, Michael, and Nikayla, we have Josie. We've taken care of him. He'll be fine. Will you do me a favor? Will you read this letter? Naya, my beautiful daughter, I'm writing this letter to you this Father's Day 2021 as I'm sitting here on the ocean cliffs in Carlsbad by the single lone dead tree where I took you many times as an adult when you came to visit me. I'm looking out at the vast ocean sea, crying over the love that I have for you, shaking, not being able to laugh with you or hug you or hearing your sarcastic quips about my Hurley shirts. <laughs> Don't worry, Nikayla still has that covered. I miss you terribly. Even though we sometimes didn't see eye to eye, you always came back to me and I you. You're not coming back this time like I'm used to you doing. But our love for each other remains the same. This Father's Day, I'm going to celebrate your life with me and the greatest moments that we spent together. And I wanted to let you know the things I feel for you and how proud I am for you, how proud I am for you, <clears throat> the daughter and mother you became. It's been so long since I've been able to tell you the joy I feel when I remember how we used to bond over music and singing, the hard time when rejection came to our lives professionally and personally, when I told you at 15 years old about boys and men, 
what you were going, that you were going to have a hard time because of the type of person you are. Driven, mature, intense about your goals and path in life. You made me so proud of you when I took you to Venice at 17 and you got up on stage to sing at that open mic with all those adults in the room, looking at you with judgment in their eyes. <clears throat> you were nervous and hesitant, but you believed in me and my confidence in you and you did it. You killed that song. You listened to my advice and went forward through every obstacle that came your way. Remember when you graduated high school? <clears throat> I said, well, college is next. You looked at me and said, yeah, sure. You had a plan and a goal in mind and nothing stopped you. I guess you knew what you were after. I'm so proud that you didn't let the pressures of those teenage years break your spirit to achieve your goals. I think about those times together <clears throat> in the recording studios again with those adults telling you what you should and shouldn't do. You had your own agenda. I also remember telling you about my teenage days in the 70s so you knew that I wasn't perfect either. Your beautiful son Josie is strong, healthy, and happy. He's growing up and he's been taken care of just like you did. He knows you're okay and watching over him, rest assured. <clears throat> And he talks about you all the time. Mama, thank you for caring for me, your brother and sister. Keep sleeping soundly, my angel, and we'll take it from here. <clears throat> I love you and miss you, but I know you know that. Love, Dad. I don't even believe I wrote that. Why not? It's, um... It's emotions that are, you know, really deep. Deep emotions for someone you really love and you wish they were still here and they're just not. Um, but it's a coming to terms, right? Whatever that means, it's just coming to terms. The line, keep sleeping soundly, my angel, and we'll, we'll take it from here. What do you want Naya's legacy to be? She didn't finish what she started in terms of what she wanted to do, maybe with her voice, with her platform, with her talent, with her skill set. Um, but I wanted her to understand, I feel a connection, I feel that connection with her, and I wanted her to understand that we're not only okay, you know, we're gonna take on the challenges of life and the challenges of helping raise your my grandchild, your mm -hmm. child, with the same sort of satisfaction, vim and vigor that you had. That's you, why I wrote that line. Do you see her in him? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he, he is, uh, he's, he's a healthy, happy, rambunctious young man mm -hmm. that, you know, has that spirit. Uh, he, has, he has that spirit of joy. I'm gonna ask you a hard question. You think back to that day. Does it replay in your head? It used to for about nine months, eight or nine months, and still I, until I started this process of purging by, by talking about Naya and celebrating her life. Um, I don't think back to that moment. I, I really don't. You know, it's a life, it's 33 years. Yeah. I think of the whole, it's a 50,000 foot level, right? I look at the whole, whole lifespan and how much she gave to me, I gave to her, we gave each other as a family. Mm. It's really, jo it's a joyous occasion yeah. rather than a tragedy, right? What do you want people to know about Naya? I think it's about sort of the strong dynamic personality and never giving up. Never giving up on your dream and your focus. She knew she was lucky, but she knew she worked hard for that. She didn't go out and try to be that character. She right. tried to be Naya and show, show people the best that, that she had. Always happy. <laughs>